Hempstead Paukeo, a scooter, motor scooter, is a motorcycle with an underbone or step through frame and a platform for the rider's feet, emphasizing comfort and fuel economy. Elements of scooter design were present in some of the earliest motorcycles, and scooters have been made since at least 1914. Scooter development continued in Europe and the United States between the World Wars. 1919 Edup Scooter The global popularity of motor scooters dates from the post-World War II introductions of the Vespra and Lambretta models in Italy. These scooters were intended to provide economical personal transportation, engines from 50 to 150 cc or 3.1 to 9.2 kWh. The original layout is still widely used in this application. Maxi scooters, with larger engines from 200 to 850 cc, 12 to 52 kWh, have been developed for Western markets. Scooters are popular for personal transportation partly due to being more affordable, easier to operate, and more convenient to park and store than a car. Licensing requirements for scooters are easier and cheaper than for cars in most parts of the world, and insurance is usually cheaper. The term motor scooter is sometimes used to avoid confusion with kick scooter, but can then be confused with motorized scooters, another distinct kind of scooter. How does a motorcycle transmission work? Let's talk about how the automatic transmission in a scooter actually works. As we've mentioned, most scooters use a specific type of automatic transmission called a continuous variable transmissions. A CVT is different from other transmissions in that it doesn't use separate gears to create different gear ratios. Instead, the CVT in a scooter consists of two pulleys connected by a V-belt. One of these pulleys is connected to the engine, while the other is connected to the scooter's driven wheel. Each pulley in a CVT consists of two conical pieces that face toward each other. The belt connecting the pulleys sits in between these conical pieces. To adjust the gear ratio, the CVT moves these conical pieces closer or farther apart from each other. Since the V-belt rides on the slopes of the pulley cones, this means that pushing the cones together effectively creates a larger diameter pulley while pulling them apart creates a smaller pulley. Depending on whether the drive pulley or the driven pulley, attached to the rear wheel, has a larger diameter, this can allow the engine to either run at a higher engine RPM or deliver more torque. CVTs have a range of gear ratios as determined by the maximum and minimum diameter of the pulleys, but within this range, there is a near infinite number of gear ratios. This is because the design of a CVT allows the transmission to make minute adjustments to any given ratio by slightly increasing or decreasing the diameter of the pulleys and rollers for the centrifugal clutch. Construction details, when it comes to the construction of a continuously variable transmission as we have already discussed its design is very simple so let's just understand the various components that comes together to make CVT. 1. Pulleys, in CVT pulleys play an important role as the conical shape pulleys integrated over input and output shafts are the reason for continuously variable transmissions continuous n number of speed and gear ratios, due to the different cross section of these conical pulleys multiple torque and speed ratios are obtained. Here are the example videos.
guys. Please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching. Maraman Salamat Poe.